Hey, what's up, PKC, and what's up to everyone else who is joining us for the first time? I'm so glad you're here today. We're going to do something different because usually we have a separate praise video, but we are going to do praise together. Okay, before we start, I miss having worship together. So even though we're not at the church building itself, we are a body of Christ. So we can worship God in our own home. Right? Amen? Especially those who are live with us, we can praise together at the same time, right? So with that said, I want everyone to stand up, all right? And I'm going to actually have Chenam teacher and Abigail teacher to lead us into time of praise, all right? So remember, this is not a show. We are worshiping God, okay? So let's all stand up. Let's get ready. I'm going to pray for us. And we're going to get ready for our first song, okay? Let's pray. God, we thank you for, for today. Uh, let us just worship you in spirit and in truth. Uh, Lord, as we get ready for uh, the sermon, Lord God, let us just sing to you right now at this moment. So, Lord, we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's all stand up, boys and girls. Let's get up and let's ready to... Good morning, PKC. Happy Sunday. I miss you guys so much. I especially miss doing praise and doing worship with you guys. Hey, you know what? Let's do some praise right now. Let's show the song, Nothing is Impossible.
Amen. That was awesome. You may be seated at this time. Uh, so if you have any offering or if you have any money for the pledge, please save it until we come back to church. You can give it in when we see each other again. Okay, we're not sure when, but make sure you save it so that you can give in your offering. Okay, the times that we're not at church. Uh, and so, if you're new today, I have a very special song for you. Here is the latest and newest track from Wu, the rapper. It's not the regular PKC rap, but it's a new song. Okay, so let's get ready uh, for this song. Y'all ready? You guys ready? Say I'm ready if you're ready. All right, let's get ready for this song. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yo, yo, this is Wu the Rapper, just want to welcome you with this rap, y'all ready? If this is your first time here, I would like to welcome you right here. My name is Pastor Allen, this ministry is called PKC, PKC is Promise Kid City. This is where you can learn about God God loves you and he gave his only son He died for you so you can go to heaven I'm glad you're here at PKC One more thing I want to say is this Welcome to PKC Welcome to PKC Yeah Uh huh Yeah 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 <laughs> Alright so, yes, my name is Pastor Allen, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, uh, so, I just want to welcome you, and welcome to our church online. If you like it, make sure you subscribe below, and you can get notified uh, when a new video is up. And if you, any of you want to buy this awesome album up here, um, you can buy it at the PKC store when we go back to church for 5 PKC bucks. That's cheap, right? Yeah, too cheap. Maybe 50 PKC bucks. And the one with the rapper's autograph will cost you 100 PKC bucks, all right? Uh, but anyway, uh, our teacher really miss you guys. Uh, last week, we had Carlos' teacher saying hello. Uh, this week, I have another teacher that wants to say hello. So, uh, with that said, let's welcome... Uh, David teacher. Oh, here we go. PKC, welcome to the Sunday worship. I am outside somewhere in New Jersey. It's actually called Skyline Manor. It's a lovely place. I'm with my family. You can't see them because their camera shy a bit. But I wish you are safe. I wish you are happy. And I wish you are thriving in God's grace. I want to give a quick shout out to my class of 5-3. Kaden, Crane, Jacob, Eugene, <laughs> David, Caleb, Brandon. All my boys, I miss you. Kaylin, Grace, Stella, and Hillary. I miss you girls. Well, I think it's Pastor Allen's time to speak. So let's all pay attention. 
let's all focus and let's all have a good time. Until next time, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> all right. Thank you, David Teacher, for uh, those words of encouragement and to your kids. All right. So what is our next theme? So this week is our last week of reveal. Next week, we're going to start a new um, theme called Level Up. Okay, it's called Level Up. It is finished. So what is this uh, theme about or this new curriculum, new series about? It's a video game theme. How many of you like video games? Raise your hand. Well, you're not here, but uh, I know a lot of you like video games. I know most of you play uh, different video games. And most of the games you play, you can level up. Right, you can level up. And what are some popular games do you guys play nowadays? Okay, why don't you type it in the chat right now if you're live with us? Uh, what is it? Let me see. Uh, I don't know what games you guys play. Maybe some of you, uh, you play Brawl Stars, right? How many you play Brawl Stars? Okay, Fortnite. I know that's a popular one. Uh, Clash Royale, Roblox, uh, Minecraft, right? Uh, there's many of those uh, games. And when a player levels up, they're usually met with uh, more challenges, right? And with more reward, though, if you get more challenges. So maybe uh, you play against players who are better, right, uh, if you level up. Uh, but through this series, you guys will be challenged to level up your faith by examining the events surrounding Jesus' death and resurrection. So it's going to be exciting, okay? So if you're excited about the next series, I want you to write, I'm excited, in the comment below, okay? Uh, with your name and grade on it. And this week, you will get a chance to win $5.00. Amazon gift card, okay, so if you leave a comment below, not in the chat, okay, but in the comments below, uh, I'll show you a video of what you guys did last week, and you get a chance to win a $5 Amazon gift card, okay, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that, scroll down, and then write it really quick, say, I am excited from whatever name you are, okay, me, Pastor Allen, from what grade, okay, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that, ready, set, go, alright, while you guys do that, I'll dance, yeah, I should put on my sunglasses, come on, you guys ready, 10 seconds left, come on, Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. All right, time's up. So if you still haven't done it or you uh, are still typing, uh, maybe you can do that later after the video, okay? All right, so last week, uh, I want to show you uh, some of the comments you guys wrote. I said if you write a comment below, you will get uh, uh, these jellies, the pizza jelly and the rock, paper, scissors. So we're going to mail that to you uh, for, for the winner. Okay, so let's take a look at who wrote some comments last week. All right, let us let me read it. Uh, we have Jaden. Let's see. We have Ethan, Mike, my friend, Timothy, Alicia, Anna, Danny. Uh, who is it? Emily, Sophie, Haley, Sua, Choking, my friend, Max, uh, Brandon, Diane, uh, Soan, Daniela, Luke, Daniel, Yeji, Somyan, Yeri, Jonathan, Ray, Haley, and Christopher, uh, Sebastian, Rachel, Daniel, and Jaken. So uh, you guys will be entered into our raffle. So we're going to see who won. Okay, we're going to see who won. From last week, you ready? Let's get a drum roll, everybody. Ready, ready, ready. Hold on, let me move myself. Okay, sorry. Oh, I have to get ready for this. I know I'm still new at this uh, video editing. So ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? Cut back to the 
to the PowerPoint. Ready? All right, drum roll. And the winner is Daniel Kim. Congratulations from first grade. Uh, we will mail you that package. Hopefully, I can mail that to you soon. I cannot go into the church right now, but uh, you will get your package of the candy. So, congratulations, Daniel. Uh, let's write that in the chat. Say congratulations, Daniel, if uh, you are here live with us today, okay? All right, let's move on. So, uh, with that said, we are going to uh, take a stretch break. And you guys know we are in our last... Uh, week of uh this series called reveal right and i have a special guest you can see right uh this way this way okay this way we can see we have a special guest that's gonna lead us into a time of dance okay so why don't you guys get ready let's all stand up together take a stretch break uh we're gonna dance to uh reveal the song okay all right ready here we go oh yeah oh yeah break it down Oh, look at him go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that laugh, Bianco. Come on. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. You guys dancing? Come on, stand up and dance if you're not dancing. Come on, you're not going to be able to get up for a while. It's a long sermon today. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that move. He said, uh, I stole his move. Sorry, man. Maybe I did. But, uh, I like your dance move. Okay, Bianco? I love your dance moves. Here we go. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Whoa! Nice cartwheel there, buddy. Alright, so, uh, with that said, we are. Uh, in our last series, I mean last lesson of uh, this series called Reveal. So it's based on Jesus' parable, right? What is a parable? Who remembers what's a parable? A parable is a short story used to illustrate a moral or a spiritual lesson, right? And we learned different um, parables uh, last couple weeks, right? Uh, so we're going to continue that today to look at our last parable to see what Jesus wants to teach us today. Uh, so we're going to get ready uh, for our sermon. So let's go over to chat rules, especially during sermon time. Uh, so here it is. Boo! Surprise! <laughs> we have some rules to our live chat rooms if you're live with us. So rule number one, don't spam the chat room. And that means don't copy and paste over and over again. Rule number two, don't say anything inappropriate. Okay. And number three, don't be mean to others. Rule number four, don't need to tell others to be quiet or stop talking. Okay. Myself and the other teachers will do that. And rule number five, during the sermon, please don't chat if it has nothing to do with the sermon. And if you don't follow these rules, I might put you in this trash can, okay? Or, just kidding, uh, you may get 300 seconds of timeout, or you might be banned from the chat. So please follow the rules, or else those things will happen. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to go back in. All right, so uh, we're going to get ready for our uh, review of the day. So what have you learned? All right, so uh, last week, do you want to see my face? Uh, you'll see my face later. All right, last week we learned that um, uh, God blank me to do great blank. So if you know it, say it with me. Ready? One, two, three. God made me to do great what is it things that is right good job boys and girls and our bible memory verse uh, you guys know this by now right blank to me and i will blank you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not blank ready one two three 
call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know from Jeremiah 33 verse 3 right awesome 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 and uh, our challenge of the week was this it was uh, I will do great things for God Right. Last week we learned about the parable of the talents. Here I am. <laughs> right. Uh, we got to use our talents for God, and I'm using mine with my video editing skills. Right. No, not really. I'm really new at this. I'm trying to learn a new talent so that uh, people can hear the word of God. Right. Even if we don't have church. Uh, so, with that said, today our. Uh, our uh, big idea of the week is this god forgives me so can you say that out loud on the count of three uh one two three god forgives me awesome 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 so it sounds great right this this big idea sounds great and uh but a lot of you are not sure if god really forgives you right you feel like you wrong god so many times and he won't forgive you because uh every time you sin you just have this guilt and you say sorry right you tell god you're sorry and the last time you've done something wrong you ask for forgiveness and you told him you won't do it again right but you did it again the next day or even the next hour right how many of you ever uh experienced that before right you say sorry and then you kept doing it uh even the next minute or the next hour or the next day right and i'm sure we all went through that and you feel like you said sorry so many times and god will not forgive you but that is not true right uh that is not true actually and some of you don't want to even go to god and ask for forgiveness because you think that he won't forgive you uh but today i want to assure you that god forgives you okay god forgives you okay you can go back to god as many times as you want okay and god will always forgive you um so uh, before the sermon, we're going to take our Bibles. We're going to look at our Bible memory verse from Jeremiah 33. 3. Uh, if you memorize it, uh, I guess you don't have to open your Bible. But you should, okay? Let's all open our Bibles, okay? So take out your Bibles. And I want you to open it. Find Jeremiah 33. 3. I'm going to give you uh, 10 seconds to do that. And we're just going to read this verse uh, together. I want you to read it out loud, even though I can't see you. Uh, I want you to read it as loud as you can, all right? All right, here we go. You ready? One, two, three. Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Where is it from, boys and girls? From Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. And everyone says... Amen. All right. So, with that said, it's sermon time. So, today we will hear another parable from Jesus uh, to teach us another important lesson. Uh, and this time it's about forgiveness, that He forgives us. So, remember the rules. Let's keep the chat uh, to the minimum. Let's try to mass maximize the screen so you're not distracted by the chat. Okay, you can chat later on or Friday nights. Uh, but let's pray and then we're going to get into God's word. All right, let's pray. Uh, Father God, thank you so much uh, for today. Uh, Lord, as we get ready to uh, hear your word, may you just uh, open our hearts this morning. Uh, Lord, there might be a lot of uncertainties, a lot of fear even, Lord God. And Lord, uh, we just pray, Lord God, that you may just let us hear you uh, with a calm heart, Lord God. Uh, so God, help us to remember that you always forgives us, Lord God. And Lord, through this parable, that you may teach us this lesson, that you always forgive us. We thank you, Lord. Uh, be with us at this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, amen, amen. So we're going to get ready for our Bible story. So our Bible story today is um, from...
from Luke. Uh, Luke, hold on. Luke chapter 7, verse uh, 40 to 50. All right. So let's, uh, we actually want to watch a video right now. Uh, so I'm going to show you a video and I'm going to talk about uh, the story. Okay. All right. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms. <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees named Simon asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay, sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah. If this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, it's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Hey guys, uh, I hope you enjoy that video. I know it's a, uh, maybe it's a little silly <laughs> with the cartoon Jesus and the cartoon uh, uh, Pharisee, right, and the cartoon woman, but uh, this actually happened. Uh, so just kind of explaining what this is, right? So Simon the Pharisee, he invited Jesus to his home with other people. Uh, he might just invited him just to kind of show off, right? Uh, and what happened was he didn't really treat Jesus as a guest. Uh, he actually maybe thought he was better than Jesus, right? He was just trying to show off uh, that he invited Jesus because Jesus was uh, healing people. He was doing all this uh, miracles. Uh, but uh, anyway, regardless, uh, during the party, this woman just barged in, an uninvited guest, just barge in out of nowhere, crying, right? This this woman just crying. And then she started crying so much that she, she used her tears to wipe Jesus' feet, right? And she poured perfume uh, on his feet as well. So it was, it was a crazy scene, right? Everyone was probably like, what 
just happened, right? And while this woman was crying, right? Uh, uh, Simon was thinking this to himself, right? He was saying, oh man, if, if Jesus was a prophet, he would know that how sinful this woman is. Like, why would he associate himself with this woman? Why would he do anything with this woman? Because I won't, right? And he had this pride, this spiritual pride that he is better than that woman. But Jesus taught uh, Simon in this parable. So he, he turned to Simon at this point, knowing what Simon was thinking, right? He didn't even say it out loud. Simon didn't say it out loud that, like, Jesus, why... Why are you like talking to this woman? Why would you let her touch you? Uh, uh, but Jesus knew, right, what he was thinking. That's why he's God. That's he, that's why he's Jesus, right? And he he told Simon this parable uh, of these two guys, right? These two guys owing uh, this master some money. One owes five hundred denarii, uh, which is equivalent to 20 months of wages 20 months of work right and the other guy was uh, 50 denarii which means about two months of wage and both of these guys they can't uh, afford to pay the master back and the master said uh you know what it's okay i forgive you i forgive your debt your debts are forgiven right and these two guys were probably so happy, right? And, and then uh, Jesus kind of stopped the story there. And he asked Simon, right? He asked Simon, which one of you, uh, which one of them uh, do you think, uh, do they love God more, right? Or, or like are, are more thankful? Uh, and Simon, Simon replied, I, I suppose, I suppose the one that has more debt. Right, and that that's what uh, and, and Jesus said, yeah, you know, you're right. You have judged correctly, uh, right? And then and then Jesus uh, said this. Let me let me just read it to you guys. Uh, let me see. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. It says, then he turned towards the woman and said to Simon. Do you see this woman? You see this woman? I came to your house and you did not give me any water for my feet. But she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. Jesus wanted to teach Simon and all of us through this parable. Not just to Simon, but us. Right? He told Simon this. He said, you didn't even give me any water for my feet. And when a guest enters a house back then as a courtesy, because back then they didn't have sneakers, right? They had sandals. And, and what happened was uh, when they walk, uh, they don't have any, uh, what do you call it? sidewalk or pavement, right? It's all dirt. And then there's a lot of garbage and poop outside. So it's really stinky, right? And back then you're supposed to uh, give your guests uh, water uh, for their feet so that they can wash it off. But Simon didn't even offer that to Jesus. Um, so so Jesus was like, you didn't even offer me that. And then he goes on and say, you did not give me a kiss. But this woman from the time I enter has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head and she had poor perfume on my feet. And you're probably thinking, like, why would Simon give Jesus a kiss, right? Uh, but that's how they greet each other. So it's 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 like a handshake or high fives in in our society. But even now in Israel, they they greet each other with a kiss on their cheeks, like you know, shalom, right? <laughs> we don't do that, uh, but we we do handshake. Well, at least before the coronavirus or high five, right? Simon did not honor Jesus at all, and that's what. That's basically what Jesus was saying. Like he's not honoring him, and and he was even judgmental of the woman and Jesus, right? Uh, and maybe you know what? He just invited Jesus for a show, and and then Jesus said this to the woman. Therefore, I tell you, well, to Simon. Therefore, I tell you, 
her many sins have been forgiven, uh, as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little loves little. So that's that's very uh, interesting, right? It's, it's it's relatable to us. It says whoever has been forgiven little loves little, and you know some people think that I'm not so bad. I didn't sin that much, right? That's what Simon was thinking. She's like, I'm a Pharisee. I know everything, you know? I'm good. And that's what people do that don't know God. It's like, I'm good. I don't need God. I don't need God's forgiveness, right? And it's like the guy who had 50 denaries and, 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 and the master forgave him. And he's probably like, ugh, you know? It's only two months worth of wage. It's not like it's 20. Uh, it's not like it's 500 denarii like that guy, right? And you start comparing to people that's worse than you. You're like, at least I didn't kill anybody. At least I didn't bully anybody. At least I didn't do this. At least I'm not like him. At least I'm not like her. I'm not so bad. At least I'm not like my sister or brother, right? At least... And you, you kind of compare that with others thinking like, oh, I'm not so bad at all. But guess what? We all have sinned, boys and girls. We all have sinned. And this woman knew she had sinned, right? Yes, everyone knew that she had sinned, right? This, this woman had a bad reputation. People knew that, right? Uh, but she she came to Jesus and just asked him for forgiveness and just cry and cry knowing that she has sinned, right? How many of us knows we're bad sinners? We're all bad sinners, right? And, and, and then Jesus turned to her and said, your sins are forgiven. And then the other guests began to say something amongst themselves. It says this. It says, who is this who even forgives sins? Right? And Jesus said to this woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So when Jesus said your sins are forgiven to her, he's not just saying to her, but he wants to say it to you right now that your sins are forgiven. Through his son Jesus, right? For God so loved the world that whoever, what, believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And that is faith. And our faith can save us when we believe in Jesus. That we can go in peace just as that woman did. And Jesus in this parable, he wants to make a point to anybody, to anybody, not just to Simon, not just to the woman, that anybody, right, who has been forgiven and knowing that they were forgiven, right? That we need to be grateful, right? We need to be grateful and thankful for what Jesus has done for us. But it can't be you just having this pride thinking like, oh, I haven't sinned. You know, I'm not that bad. But if you start doing that, then you're just thinking you're not so bad. You don't need a savior. But when we know, when we know that we have sinned, Guess what? We need a savior, right? And I have a question. Like, who do you think the harder person is it to save in that story? Is it the person who owes 500 denarii or the one that owes 50? Right? Which one do you think is the harder person? Well, guess what? It's not the one with the 500 because they knew they owe a lot. They knew that they sinned a lot. And it's not the woman because the woman clearly knows, right? Just by her actions, seeing her crying and just being at Jesus' feet, seeing that she knew that she was a sinner. But for many of us, we're like the one that owes 50. And we start comparing, right? Like I said before. And we think that, oh, I'm okay. I don't really need Jesus. I'm, I'm not that bad, right? But guess what? The people who thinks like that, 
that thinks they're right, that they don't need Jesus, it's a disease. Okay, it's a disease. It may cost you not only your life, but your soul. And some of you think like, I don't really need God. You know, I'm not as bad. But I want to show you a Bible verse right now from Romans 3, 23. It says this. It says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I'm so sorry, it's not showing. But for all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. So what does this mean? I want to show you a video right now. Did you know that God loves you? It's true. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. There's just one problem that prevents this from happening. S-I-N. Sin. Get off. People have a lot of ideas about what sin is. But it is really an archery term that means... Oof. Missing the mark. It doesn't matter how good you've been. It doesn't matter how religious you are. It doesn't matter how smart you might be. Uh, for uh, every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The Bible says that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Because of sin, we are separated from God, with no hope of ever being good enough on our own. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. When you ask Jesus to be Lord and Savior of your life, He will not only give you eternal life, but an abundant life of joy and goodness here on earth. Won't you receive Him today? I once was lost, but now I'm found. So with that said, right, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all miss the mark, right? The person we should be comparing to is not the people next to us or around us, but it's actually to Christ and we all fall short, right? And yes, it's sad that everyone sins, but God found a way to forgive us, right, of all our sin by sending who? By sending Jesus to save you and to save me. And once we receive God's forgiveness, guess what the Bible says? I want to show you this really quick too. It says this. It says, Then yet, their sins and lawless acts, I will remember no more. Wow! Isn't that amazing? Right? God's not going to remember any of our sins. Right? Isn't that amazing? Guess what? Love keeps no record of wrong. And because God loves you and me, 
He keeps no record of wrong. He doesn't remind us of our sins. Actually, you know who does? Satan does, not God. And, and we need to remember that God doesn't remember any of our sins. Isn't that awesome? Right? But unlike us, unlike us, we like to remember every wrong that other people do, right? To us. And even with my own kids, I remember the bad things they have done, right? I forgive, but it's hard for me to just forget, right? And sometimes I remind them, uh, uh, I remind my kids like of the bad things they have done. Like, remember you did this? Remember you did that? You know, remember, remember. And I know, I know it's bad. I shouldn't do that, right? That's not of God. Uh, but we do that as human beings. But God, guess what? God um, forgets our sins. It's not that he's forgetful, but he chooses to just forget it, right? He forgives and he forgets. That's, that's the, the, the promise of God. And I want to show you. I want to show you something. So I want to show you what that looks like, right? Um, so all of us have sinned. We missed the mark, right? And a lot of us, we have sins that looks like this i wrote it on a piece of paper you can read it uh there's things like lie cheat steal disobey bully hitting idols envy that's just some of them but you know what like god's word says right Let, let's go back to that verse it says he then adds their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. So here I have right now, I'm going to go back to my screen. I have water. Okay, there's water here. You're not going to see my face for now. And we have our sins, right? And when we ask God for forgiveness, we don't have to worry about, oh man, I did it again. You know, I'm scared that he's not going to forgive me. But I want you to see what happens to this piece of paper. Let's let's pretend this is us just asking God for forgiveness, right? And look what happens to this. I want you to look as I put this in. So God, please forgive us of our sins. And watch what happens. There's no magic to it, but watch. Watch what happens to this paper. It actually dissolves. I cannot even grab the paper and that's how God remember that he doesn't remember our sins anymore isn't that awesome right that he doesn't remember he doesn't hold us accountable to our sins anymore because he is an awesome God amen amen so right now boys and girls we are gonna pray we're going to pray right now to ask God for forgiveness, right? We learn that God forgives us. And when we ask for forgiveness, not only does he forgive us, but he forgets our sins, right? Just like how you saw. Isn't that awesome? He doesn't remind us of our uh, sinfulness. He doesn't remind us of our wrongdoings, but he forgives and he forgets. So right now, we're going to get into a time of prayer. So right now, if you can close your eyes, bow your heads with me. And we're going to pray. Okay, we're going to pray. We're going to take a couple minutes to ask God for forgiveness. Okay, so why don't you close your eyes. And let's think about all the sins we have committed. And let's ask Him to forgive us right now. So let's pray. Let's, let's take a couple minutes to pray right now. Father, we just pray uh, that you would just watch over us, Lord God. God, we're sorry for our sins, Lord God. God, it's only you who can help us, Lord God. God, we don't want to be like Simon, Lord God, who is so uh, self-righteous, Lord God, uh, that he doesn't even respect you or honor you, Lord God. But Lord, we want to be like this woman who will fall at your feet. And recognizing, Lord God, that we have sinned against you, Lord God. We have fallen short of your glory, Lord God. And Lord, we have all missed the mark, Lord God. But Lord, by faith, we can be healed, Lord God. So God, let us put our faith in you and trust in you. May you just forgive us of our sins, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Let's pray together. Father God, thank you so much, Lord God, for today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your parable, Lord God, to teach us about the kingdom of God. Oh, Lord, thank you for teaching us that you forgive us, Lord God. I thank you, uh, Lord, uh, for showing us, Lord God, that for those who are uh, forgiven, Lord God, that we will love, Lord God. So, Lord, help us to just love uh, you more, Lord God. And Lord, uh, as we are forgiven, Lord God, we want to continue to show our love to you, Lord God, and not be self-righteous or uh, just compared to others and uh, judging others, Lord God. But Lord, that we want to recognize that we have fallen short of your glory, that we have sinned, Lord God. But Lord, we want to uh, thank you, Lord God, for sending your son, Jesus, uh, to die for us on the cross so when we believe in you lord god and when we ask for forgiveness lord god you forgive us so thank you god for today thank you for your word we love you so much in jesus name we pray amen all right everyone says amen all right so with that said uh, why don't we say the big idea one more time one two three God forgives me. Amen. Amen. All right. So uh, I'm going to do a couple announcements. Uh, sorry, I don't have the challenge cards. But uh, if you have any prayer requests, please make sure you go to our um, website, promisekidcity.com. And on the side, there's prayer request sec section. So make sure you uh, submit your prayer requests. Uh, also, we're finishing out March bible calendar uh so continue reading i'm going to give you a new calendar from wednesday so look forward to it in the email or cacao uh if your parents are in cacao talk okay um next thing is we have our friday nights i'm not sure if you guys know but we have our friday night hangout uh it's space uh, uh we have worship we have message and also, uh, I do something very special on Fridays. I show a TikTok video of the week. Uh, so I have one ready already. So uh, if you want to join us live, uh, it's 8 o'clock uh, for chat. Uh, if you want to chat with your friends or teachers, come at 8 o'clock. But the service starts around 8.15. So make sure you come early. We send the link out in email, text, cacao. So make sure you guys are uh uh in uh on fridays okay uh make sure you come live joining us and next week as you know we are uh starting a new series called level up it is finished uh so it's a video game series so make sure you guys come and join us and share this with a friend uh, if you want them to know jesus but this is the best time i think we can share uh, the gospel especially online for those kids who don't go to church uh, so yeah, with that said, thank you for watching, like, and comment, don't forget to comment, and subscribe, and share, okay, so make sure you guys do that, and make sure you guys comment, uh, for the raffle for next week, for $5 in Amazon gift card, alright, so I'll see you next week, God bless you, and have a nice day, okay, so bye!